Không ngay Chúng tôi ở đi Đi đâu Gucci War has been a destructive part of human history As the technology of war has advanced The countless lives of war has risen We are here today to go back in time and experience the Vietnam-American War. And then like the guy just take it take up it up. and give it to the woman. Hello, đồng chí. Gọi là đồng chí. Chào đồng chí Kellen. Dạ, đồng chí Kellen in duty. Đồng chí. <cười> em Kellen đứng lên. Đọc cho cô nghe. Cũng cha nuôi người tài sơn. Ừ. Nghe mê ngư nước trong ngôn chảy ra Mất lông to mi kiểm tra Cho trong chui hứi hiu Môi la đạo con Giỏi, ngồi xuống Cảm ơn cây, cảm ơn cô So guys, this is where they would come to collect the rice and make rice wine for the soldiers and it's a place that people would relax too. So each family has a special job in this village. Now, if you come inside this village, this village's family's job is to make furniture from bamboo. So we make tables, chairs, Beds, uh, there's even a cot for the children, hats, and the rice. Um, how do you say this in Vietnamese? This is where they would come to organize their plans for each soldier. And you see the man there, he has a loudspeaker, and he would call people from the village and give the information. So the family richer than the Compared to the other houses, this house is actually made of wood, not bamboo and straw. The roof is actually made from clay tiles to protect against the rain. And here the family would sleep. But also, under here, if I just go in, this is actually a bomb shelter. So I can go in here and it protects 
against the bombs from above. This is how they make the rice. So they turn it like this. <laughs> Thank you very much. This and the rice actually falls into here. And then they take the rice from here and put it into this. And it churns the rice to get the good rice from here. And then they take it yeah. into into this, yeah. too. and then they take this, a big hammer, it's quite heavy, and they go like this. And then here is the rice we eat. You, you tap. I can taste that. Yeah. It's sour. You when you cook the sour, sour. you are uh, catching the fish, mm -hmm. the e, mm -hmm. the fish. You cooking sour soup. Vietnamese can chua. Can chua. Yes, good. Tôi thích ta ăn can chua. Can chua, chua very yeah, sour soup. Is it? You cook okay. that. Vietnamese called uh, lái da. Lái da. Yeah, very good lái sour. Yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. And the chicken. Chicken soup. Chicken too? Chicken too? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can hear the sound, <laughs> but our friend just said that um, at 5 p.m. in the afternoon, the frogs make this sound. As rice is an important part of Vietnamese life, I was definitely happy to help. And where do I put these? <laughs> like this? Oh, do you know what any of these are? There are lots of things. Now in English, we have bananas. Chui! Pineapple is, what's pineapple? Tom, Tom, Kai Tom, and this is um, this is a calabash. Calabash. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. But I don't know it. I never seen it before. But in Vietnam, it grows around the area. We have uh, aubergine, fresh. We have lots of different beans we can eat, and the Vietnamese uh, villagers from this area would use these pots to cook everything inside. Delicious. And then the rice. Is it rice? It's nothing. <laughs> they tricked me. There are many other things we can buy too. There are flashlights, torches, belts for the soldiers. There's also ponchos to keep people dry with radios. There's also beans and other drinks that they would use for cooking. I'm not sure what these things are at the back, but they look interesting. Here we have bowls for eating and cooking, spoons, many other things. But take a look here. There are tables for people to sit down and relax. There's also a place to get your hair cut. Here we go. We have the hot fire yeah, would hot. be here and the metal would get soft and then this man would pump the air to make it hotter, yeah. to make it hotter. And then the man here would hit it with a hammer to shape the metal. So you can imagine this woman is making something very sharp. Well, you'll find out what for later. Sharp. It's an adjective. This man uses a sharp knife to make the wood sharp. Kuchi tunnels were dug deep in the jungle to connect three villages and to hide important documents. There were only 48 kilometers of tunnels. However, they were soon extended to 250 kilometers to help the fight against the Americans. So here we are at the entrance to the tunnels. Now the men and women would fight around this area. And when the American soldiers were coming, 
all the planes are flying high from above. Now the bombs would drop and the men and women, the soldiers, would evacuate into the tunnels. After an interesting introduction to the tunnels, we were definitely excited to finally go into some. And the guide, he seemed happy to see me. I think he had something interesting to show me. Rồi chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục chinh phục một cái đoạn hầm nữa ha. Đây là cái cụm hầm quân y, nó giống như bệnh viện giải chiến đó. Từ khu vực này mình sẽ chui qua cái hầm giải phẫu bên kia, khoảng 5 mét thôi. Mời dạ. mấy cô chú đi tiếp tục ha. Tunnel. It's a now. We dig tunnels through mountains so that we can drive cars through them. So we are in the health bunker and this is where the soldiers would come if they were sick, injured or maybe wounded. The tunnels were actually widened for tourists, but I hope you can see how small these tunnels are even now. Imagine what they were like back then. So, do you know why the Vietnamese soldiers put the booby traps in the corner of the room? They did it because the room would be dark. The soldiers, the tunnel rats they were called, the American soldiers that would flush out the tunnels. The American tunnel rat would come in and follow the corner of the room. They stay close to the wall see it wouldn't be a happy ending. So the soldiers would come down here three meters underground and this is the meeting room so they would talk about battle plans to defeat the Americans whilst sharing some tea. Cái bơm to nó thả 
mã đằng kia thì cái thấy cái đòn đi đạo ở đây nó bị sập dạ. tầng tầng một và tầng hai nó cạn nó không có sâu cho nên nó dễ bị sập hơn những cái tầng sâu ha nhở để nhìn vào trong cô chú và các anh chị mình thấy ngày xưa địa đạo nó nhỏ thôi chỉ cao khoảng 8 tấc và chiều rộng là 6 tấc 80 60 cm đó như thế khi mà lính mỹ phát hiện được địa đạo đó người ta không chui vào trong được à, làm cách nào để người ta tìm hiểu được cấu trúc địa đạo của chúng ta thì à, vào năm 68 đó mỹ mới huấn luyện một cái đội lính phơi từ những châu á gọi là chuột đường hầm á tên urat à, những người lính mỹ à, những người lính đến từ hàn quốc nè philippines thái lan những người lính thân hình nhỏ con có thể chui vào hầm được dạ Nha. Đây là cái nắp bí mật dùng để xuống đi đảo Nhất là làm nhỏ thôi, chỉ như người Việt mình đi Đây là người thẳng người xuống Đấy, từ trong phim không ai Đây, cái của nó là 25, 40 nha Người người thẳng Dành cho người Việt, cứ xong người xuống đường đậy lên Để lính Mỹ xuống đường đậy So, after talking about how small the hole was It was my time to try and fit through it And this is how they exit the tunnel. Whew. Maybe a little too, too many bang knees. I've lost the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now I have to go down to get my shoe. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay. Very cool. And Park Ten là gì? Nguyễn Khắc Luật. Nguyễn Khắc 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 Luật. Kỷ Luật đấy. Và là một cựu chiến binh ở tại chiến trường khu năm. Bác đánh thứ đau không? Chú, bác đánh thứ đau. Bác đánh thứ đau. Từ Hà Nội vào. Hà Nội. Đánh Hà Nội, đánh thứ Hà Nội. Ngày xưa là Hà Tây. Dạ. Đi hành quân bộ vào đến khu năm. Dạ. Hoạt động ở đó. Dạ. Đến lúc giải phóng thì mới trở lại miền Bắc. Uh, our friend works for the government in uh, the middle of Vietnam, but we just met him here, and um, he's a commander in the government. And this is his badge Kiều here. Binh. Yeah. Okay. Used to be a soldier. He, he was a soldier too. Yeah. Wow. Kiều okay. Binh. Okay. Nhưng mà không ở vùng này. Yeah, but like not this area. So the soil here is actually called steel soil. Now it's called steel soil because it's so hard, they can grow tunnels, but no plants or crops can grow. So this is actually one of the only crops that grows in this area. And the name of this vegetable is called Wai Mi in Vietnamese, but in English it's called Cassava. Now I have never eaten this before, but I tried it earlier and it tastes good. It's like a potato. But the soldiers ate a lot of this because it's high in energy and it grows in the area. So this would be a normal meal for a Vietnamese soldier. Probably not this, actually. Our day has finished. We've had a fantastic day. The people have taken care of us and the sights are fantastic. We hope you will enjoy it too. If you subscribe and like for more, and if you ring the bell for the notifications, from us at iTeach, goodbye.
We hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell.